This is WordPress Plugins A to Z. Get ready to rock and roll. Five, four, three. It's episode 325, and we've got plugins for floating video, widget options, brands in WooCommerce, featured image sizes, Instagram feed embedding, and search and replace. It's all coming up next on WordPress Plugins A to Z. WordPress. It's the most popular content management and website solution on the internet. And with over 60,000 plugins to choose from, how do you separate the junk from the gems? Join John Overall and Marcus Couch for this weekly unrehearsed conversation about the latest and greatest in WordPress plugins. This is WordPress Plugins A to Z. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be hiding out there on the globe today. Coming to you live from the Brewery Overlook in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, and preparing to head down below the 49th parallel, I'm John Overall. And from Laguna Beach, California, I'm Marcus Couch. Yeah, and I've got a nice trip ahead of me. A couple more hours here, finish the show, get it all up and loaded, and uh, jump on a boat to the States today. So, Nice. Going to be a nice trip. All right, so right off the top, don't forget you can get all the show notes over at WP Plugins, A to Z dot com. And if you got a couple of minutes, we greatly appreciate you taking some time over at Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and the iTunes Store, leaving us a review and subscribing to the show there. And also, you can check out all our screencasts, our training videos, and watch us live on YouTube every Monday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So join us here live. That's right. All those things. Plus, you can follow the show on Twitter. And we encourage you also to subscribe to our newsletter from our website, WPPluginsAtoZ.com. Gets you all of the latest news that we don't talk about here on the podcast. Absolutely. All right. Well, with all that said, it's time for us to dive right into the meat potatoes of the show. And today we are reviewing our usual allotment of six great plugins. And first up, I have this great plugin, which I found due to some necessary research and solving an issue that uh, we've been dealing with. And I'm sure everyone out there has been dealing with the SSL conversions of their websites. If you haven't, you need to get on top of that because the deadline's approaching very fast from uh, Google. And one of the problems with the SSL conversions is you often need to go through the database looking for the old HTTP links that need to be converted. And there's multiple ways to do it manually. There's several search and replace plugins. Well, this one I've got here for you today is called Search and Replace, and it's a new Search and Replace that that I hadn't seen before, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's a really great plugin. It offers up uh, multiple ways of getting that search and replace done. It'll do a, a URL search and replace, straight URL search and replace, although it won't do it if the URL is the same and you're just changing to HTTPS. But it does do a great search through the entire database, finding all those things, and it will convert them. But it does have a caveat there also. What it does do is instead of making the conversion on your live site, it forces you to download the database and it converts all the files for you. And then you got to re-upload the database through the interface of the plugin, which works quite fantastically. I got to try it on a couple of sites and it does a great job of doing this, just provided your hosting provider allows you to upload a file, which could be rather large depending on your database. All in all, with the tests and the actual live work I'd done with this plugin, it's a fantastic plugin. Search and replace, check it out. I gave it a five dragon rating. Very nice. You do have to be careful with that because a lot of those changes are permanent. <laughs> That's why it forces you to download the database. Right. So you, so you have a copy of it. It also gives you a chance to back up your database before you start doing this. Uh, That's true. All right, John, we're going to talk about some cutting edge technology. That's right. Floating video. Now, that seems to be a trend on sites like YouTube and Facebook and CNN, where you're watching a video and you scroll down the page and the video kind of ends 
uh, ends up either in the upper or left or sometimes the lower right or sometimes the upper right or any of those places. Well, this plugin allows you to embed an MP4 file or an embedded YouTube video right into your page. So as a site visitor scrolls down, they can read the rest of your post while still watching that video. So I tried this out on my wife's business site and it works pretty well. It's short code based, uh, but it is a little bit limited in the placement functionality. It lets you pick one of the corners and assign a margin based on percentage. But the issue that I had is it didn't let me move it up from the bottom in a bottom right play scenario because in the bottom I have a uh, click here to message just on Facebook and this kind of underlapped it, right? It, it played underneath that button. Mm. So it can't be 100% perfect, but uh, that was just a special circumstance that I was looking for. Otherwise, I think it's pretty darn close to perfect, and I rated this a 5 out of 5. There we go, rocking it right out the chart, uh, out the gate here this morning with two 5 mm -hmm. plugins. Okay. Well, bringing up some information, this show is sponsored by the following people and or businesses, and uh, johnoverall.com, WordPress and WordPress services, providing all your WordPress service needs and hosting needs for WordPress websites. And a little bit of information, after the recent spam scam involving a very popular WordPress plugin, and you'd have to be pretty much living under a rock to not know about that one, you may have realized that it's now more important than ever to start dealing with uh, old or abandoned plugins that are still on your website and in, in use. And one of the services I'm now offering up to folks is the ability to help you find the replacements, because if you go through and have plugins that need replaced due to being aged and abandoned, there's probably dozens to choose from to replace them. And that's one of the great services I offer up. And if you're looking to have that done, contact me at my website, johnoverall.com, or call me 818-850-7729, or send an email to john at wppro.ca. And I am still on the hunt for some great authors for Smashing Magazine. And that is one of the biggest web publications on the internet. A lot of cool things coming on for Smashing Magazine. And I need your help. So if you are a author that likes to talk about WordPress, have a passion for WordPress, this is a great way to do it. John, I know that you've been privy to some of the articles and things that uh, some of the authors have submitted to me. It's pretty high, high quality, top-notch stuff. And if you are capable of doing the same, then head on over to marcuscouch.com slash smashing and there's a nice video and a form there that tells you all about the process. So check that out. If you'd like to write for Smashing Magazine, it's marcuscouch.com slash smashing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to more of the articles. Some of them have been truly fantastic and yeah. information that I didn't even know was possible in WordPress. So. Same here. So, yeah, it looks like Smashing Magazine is going to start leading the, uh, leading the field in uh, high-quality articles that will help you out. So if you've got one, contact Marcus. That's right. All right, next up, our next set of plugins we've got here. I want to talk about the plugin that uh, will help replace the one that was recently um, brought forth due to the uh, spam hack that was uh, put forward. What I've got for you is called Widget Options. This replaces Display Widgets beautifully. Display Widgets, if you didn't know, was the one I was talking about a little bit ago. And uh, you need to replace it if you have it on your site. If you haven't already, you need to do it ASAP because the plugin is a problem. Now, Widget Options gives you all the exact same features that you got in Display Widgets, which was one of the problems I had for a long time and why I used Display Widgets for years. And nobody else had the exact same options and made it as easy to use. Uh, widget Options makes this fantastic and easy to use for setting your widgets in multiple pages, blocking it from pages, but they add some additional functionality to it if you jump up to the Pro version. They give you some display logic, class IDs, even more, a whole lot of different ways. You can adjust via taxonomies, lots of ways to hide and display your widgets with this plugin here. And the premium version is only 29 bucks, but the free version, still a fantastic plugin, and I had to give this a top five Dragon rating. Very nice. So uh, one of the things I've been doing lately is actually working on a WooCommerce affiliate store. 
And one of the things I noticed in WooCommerce is it does just about everything, except it doesn't talk about what brand the item happens to be. There's not a sortable taxonomy for it. Until now, where we bring in you this plugin, it's called WooCommerce Brands. And it allows you to add different brands to your WooCommerce product store. You can create unlimited brand categories for your products and even assign multiple brands to one single product. I don't know. I guess you could do a bundle or something like that. Uh, Display brand names on product pages or category pages and any product listing pages. So what this allows you to do is filter products by brand now and even have a special sale or special page specific to brands like Nike headbands on sale or anything like that and get all the SEO benefits that come with it. And now that you've got a brand sortable taxonomy, you can actually take care of all that and get one cool SEO page for all your nice branded sales. It works very well. It also includes a nice bonus, which is a built-in WordPress widget to show your brands listed on the sidebar as well. And I thought this was a great plugin and rated it a perfect five out of five. Fantastic. Nice way to uh, display everything and uh, showcase your brands on your site. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't believe there was nothing for this. Now there is. Well, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that you kind of expect to be there and then you find that they're not. And then somebody builds a plugin for it. Got to love WordPress for that. Yeah. All right. Well, this uh, brings us to this. There's uh, listener feedback. We look forward to listener feedback. We, You can contact us multiple ways. Email. Send us a speak pipe out the lower corner of our website. Uh, contact forms. Lots of ways. So please give us some feedback, and we will happily showcase it here for you. And also, this show is a value for value model, meaning if you get any value at all out of the show please give some value back and in that vein we would like to acknowledge those who have supported the show this past week all donations fifty dollars and over are read out and their note is published here and for those who come below fifty dollars remain anonymous and we thank you very much this week's donors are fifty dollars from jezweb pty ltd and his note is short and brief this week this is on behalf of jezweb client uh, Paul Harrison Transport, paulharrisontransport.com.au, who have big trucks to relocate heavy things. Gotta love that. Short and sweet. <laughs> and a big thank you to all our donors who came in under $50 and those who have set up weekly subscriptions. All those small subscriptions are starting to add up and they really help the show out. So there's lots of ways you can support the show. Go on to WP Plugins, A to Z.com slash donate, where you can subscribe for as little as two fifty a week. Show us, you know, a little bit of support. Hey, help the show grow. Uh, we've been working really hard at improving everything, and it's actually starting to show that the improvement with the number of downloads we've had in the last month, which have almost doubled. So Wow. Oh, it's uh, been quite incredible in that aspect. So thank yeah. you very much to everyone who's starting to listen to the show. So we know people are downloading. Let's hope you're listening. Awesome. Okay. All right. And that brings us to the final set of plugins. Our final set of plugins today. The one I have up here was one that was submitted to us. It was submitted by Christina Menta, and it's called Flexi Instagram Feed. And this is a premium plugin, and it's available over at Code Canyon where you can get it. And that may be an affiliate link in the show notes. So this is a nice premium plugin that helps you showcase Instagram feeds on your website. And it does a fantastic job of showcasing those Instagram feeds. It allows you to go in, create an Instagram feed via hashtag, profile, location, or even a feed of all the images that you personally like on Instagram. And it automatically updates that feed, allows you, has an interface to go in there where you can adjust the way the feed looks, adjust the CSS for the feed, customize numerous settings in it, and it displays anywhere on your website with a short code. Very nice. Of all the Instagram feed plugins I've tried, this is definitely one of the best ones. So you'll want to check this out. It's called Flexi Instagram Feed, and I gave it a 4 Dragon rating. Very nice. Very nice. 
All right. Um, I am posting this uh, for a friend, <clears throat> John, that uh, is something that could be very useful for featured images on a website. It's called the minimum featured image size. And with this plugin, you can actually set the minimum width and height required for featured images. So if a user tries to use an image that isn't large enough, something that will get pixelated and put on the front page when it probably shouldn't be and it should be in a better re resolution, they will see this nice, friendly little error message and the post status will be reverted to draft until they come up with a featured image that is appropriate width and height. I love this plugin. Hopefully somebody I know will start using it, and I rated it a four out of five. <laughs> I'm thinking you probably should have bumped that one up to a five. That can save tons of grief. <laughs> I, as soon as you mention it, it's like, wow, I think that'll solve the problem on our website. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Because I keep having issues with the featured images. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, though. But, okay. yeah, I actually have clients where I have that trouble, too, is getting the right featured image in there. But this is the kind of thing that will help solve that. So, yeah. There you go. All right. All right. Well, that's all we got here. Uh, closing out this episode, the plugins we covered, I covered in this episode was Widget, widget Options, which I gave a 5 to. Flexi Instagram Feed, which I gave a 4 to. And then Search and Replace, which I gave a 5 to. And I talked about floating video, plug, the floating video plugin. It gets a five out of five. WooCommerce Brands gets a five out of five. And Minimum Featured Image Size gets a four out of five. All right. And just a few little bit of uh, reminders here at the end. Be sure to check out our YouTube screencast, which follows this show here. It gets uploaded a bit later. It has more information and uh, expanded stuff into it. And a note to all developers out there who would like to support the show, if you want to offer up a premium license for us to give away, please go to WPPluginsAtoZ.com, plug in contest, and submit your license. And we will create a contest giveaway and promote your product for you. Nice. And we also now, as we've mentioned a few times, have training videos up online in the uh, in the WP Plugins YouTube channel. So check out the training videos that are getting placed up there on a regular basis and uh, follow our screencasts. And for those of you who watch this on YouTube, if you check out the screencast later, I have an add-on piece that gets added on later. And for all WordPress news and other interesting WordPress-related posts, Subscribe to our newsletter at WP Plugins, A to Z And that's Absolutely. all we've got for you now. Take care. Bye. Reminders for the show. All the show notes can be found at WP Plugins, A to Z .com. And while you're there, subscribe to the Thursday newsletter for more useful information directly to your email inbox. WP Plugins, A to Z .com is a show that offers honest and unbiased reviews of plugins by developers because you support the show. Help keep the show honest and unbiased by going to wppluginsatoz.com slash donate and choose one of the weekly donation levels or make one that fits your budget. Help us make the show better for you by subscribing and reviewing to the show at Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and in the iTunes Store. You can also watch the show live on YouTube, check out the screencasts and training videos, and remember to subscribe to us on YouTube. Or follow the show on Twitter at WPPluginsAtoz. John can be reached through his website, www.johnoverall.com, or send him an email, john at wppro.ca. Marcus can also be reached through his website at marcuscouch.com or Twitter at Marcus Couch. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks for listening to the show. This show is copyright by johnoverall.com. So until next time... Have yourselves a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today. <laughs> okay, this is a little add-on bit here at the end that we've talked about and I, I did last episode. 
This is where I take one of Marcus's plugins from the uh, show we just recorded and we check it out to see how well it's going to work. We're going to try out his floating video plugin and see if we can get it in here. But it looks like we're going to have to be a little more specific in the search because, again, WordPress is being a pain in the neck. So we'll give it a sec. We'll looks like we need to do things like add the user's name at the end or the developer's name at the end. There it is. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to install it. Give it the activation. See what it needs. Timeline goes through. And I may pause this just for forever's sake. Nope, we're good. OK, so we need to add a floating video. So where did this put the information? Floating video plugin. So it looks like we need to go add a new post. Wait a minute. Tools, settings. Oh, there we go. Floating video right here. All right. Okay, so embedding the poster page. We need to get this short code here. Maximize width 40%, distance from edge. Let's set it at 33% just for fun. Position. Let's put it in the bottom right. That's a good place for it. Save that change. Okay. Now we need to go create a new post. Add new post. Okay. And with short codes, I find it's best to switch to text mode. So we need a video URL. Let's go grab a high quality WP plugins A to Z video. Max width. And we shall publish. And see how this checks out. Pretty easy to use. Nice and quick and simple. Straightforward. There we go. Hey, 33% over. Float it down in the center. No video supported format in the meantime. What do you mean? Doesn't doesn't support the hmm, that's interesting. Okay. What do they got different here? Why did we have no? Nope, nope, okay. No video with supported format and meme type found. Oh, we probably pulled it from the wrong place. Let's go let's go grab a uh, a different video in here and see what we can get. We gotta get the right URL. This is WordPress. Yeah, we almost got that. Okay, let's try this. Give it a different URL because the other one was the. Give that a shot and see if it works this time. Should. Yep, I pulled the wrong URL. Okay. We're golden. Nope, still no support. Hmm, that's weird. Why aren't you supporting a YouTube video? It is a YouTube URL. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, well, my impression of this means that I would spend a little bit of time digging to see why it's not supporting a YouTube URL when it just simply asks for the URL to be done in here. And why in its settings here, it doesn't have anything to deal with in that. So, yeah, see, we we'll just copy the URL, it's supposed to grab it. Yeah. yeah. We might be able we can drop out the uh, aspect ratio and see if it all uh, it will so sort that. Let's go check out the posts here. Let's drop that out and see if that has a has an impact. Oh, type. Drop out the type. 
Okay, so it looks like we had way too many options in there and we gotta be careful with the options. Let's see if that sorts it out. Just because I like to see if I can get it working. It looks like we're pulling something now. No video supported. Hmm, still got an issue. Okay, well, Marcus gave it a five. I would give this a three or a four due to this kind of issue here, but it worked for him, so it could be the theme or it could be something else. So be aware of that, folks. Lots of things can get in your way. Anyway, that's all we got for you now. Take care. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed this little add-on piece, and I would appreciate any feedback about it to let me know if you're enjoying it. So take care. Bye.